A lot of my clients are connectors in the business world, and they like to refer people from their Outlook contacts frequently. With this, there is sometimes information they have about someone that they don't want to share when they share the V card or business card from Outlook. And most of them, and I assume most of you, probably didn't know there's a way to customize that business card in Outlook. I'll show you how to do that today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello, and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity, and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today, I want to show you how to customize the business card in Outlook. And when you share that, sometimes people recognize it as a V card. It's pretty common in the Apple world or iPhones, but in Outlook, they call it a business card. And you do have control over what you share with other people in that business card. For instance, if you want to refer someone and you have their home address because you're friends with them and you have their mobile phone number, but you don't want to share that information with other people because that's their private information, then you can customize the Outlook business card for that person to just show certain things. Let's dive right in and have a look. To get to our contacts, we can go to the left-hand side. You're probably familiar with that if you're using contacts regularly. And you can see I just have one in here. You probably have many. The main thing is, obviously, you have to have a contact record in order to share that information with someone else. So be sure that you add that person if it's someone you refer frequently. So we'll go ahead and open this contact that I've created. Now you can see that we have a lot of the information populated here. And you can see in this case, I do have a home address listed and I have a mobile phone listed. Here you can see a preview of the business card and what it would look like if you shared it with someone else. I would like to customize this so that it takes out the mobile phone and the address. The way we can do this on a contact by contact basis is you can go into the contact and go to this business card option. Here you can see again the layout and we have control over a lot of things. If you have an image saved for your contacts, you can choose where the image is, you can choose background color, you can add the image here or change the image. This is all about the image right here. I have found that most of my clients don't use the images, so I'll do this example without an image, but just know this is where you can change all of that information. You can have it be on the right, the left, top, bottom, all types of options. This is the main part down here that we want to look at. So what we have is the full name pulling in. That's the first row. And so we can see this is what we're actually seeing. We're seeing the full name, the company, the business phone, mobile phone, two different emails, home address, business homepage, all that kind of stuff. And we have the access to change this. So for the full name, I could change how it looks. I could change the color. That's what the right side is. So the left side is showing us what exactly is pulling in, the examples up above, and the right-hand side shows us all the formatting that we have access to. So I could actually change this to be purple if I want. So we'll change that. And now you can see the example at the top of what you're creating. Next, I'll keep the company, that's perfectly fine. The business phone is fine, but I don't want the mobile phone. So here I can go down and I can remove it. And there you can see it disappears from our example up at top. And I don't need two email addresses listed. So in this case, I need email two is the primary one for this person. So I can remove this email. And then I don't want the home address, so I could remove that. And the business homepage is the website. So this is what would send if I choose to share this business card with someone through email. Are you learning something new from this video and you want to see more? If so, go ahead and click the subscribe button below the video. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on the bell icon, you will receive notifications each time a new video is posted. And again, as you saw me going through, all of this is customizable with some different formatting on the right-hand side. You can even have labels if you're going to have multiple phone numbers or multiple email addresses, or if you just want to make it clear which one this is, if it's their home phone or their work phone. And you can even customize, as you can see here, we could put that on the left instead, and you can see it flipped over. Most people I think are used to it on the right, so I'll leave it that way. 
In addition, we could add lines to our business card. And so we can add blank lines if we want some spacing. So if I want to add a blank line here, then it gives me a little space before the contact information. If I want to add the business address, we could go to address and I want to add the business address. Oh, but I put it in the wrong place. And you can see in this case, there is no business address populated. So it will just leave it blank if there isn't one. And I don't want it there anyway, so I'm gonna move that down. Maybe I want the business address at the end. If you find that you don't really like the changes you made and you wanna go back to the default, you can reset the card to the Outlook default and then start over again if you would like. Once I click OK, we can see that preview here at the top has changed. And then if I choose to send an email, I'll go ahead and save and close this and we'll look at that. Go back to email and start a new email here. And if I would like to share that business card, I will go to insert business card and I can go to other business cards. It'll go straight to your contacts and you can pull that in and there you go. And right here you can see VCF. That's why it's often called a V card, uh, but you can see it right in the body of the email. And it's formatted just the way you want, but your contact information still has those other pieces that are important for you. I hope that knowing how to customize your business card in Outlook can save you a lot of time when you're doing those referrals because you don't have to take information out anymore. You don't have to take the information and type it into an email. You can share it right through with the business card with the information you want and the way you want it to look. If you still feel like you need some help with this or any other tech challenges, you can always schedule a tech stress breakthrough call on my website. And the website is gatewayproductivity.com. You can click on the Let's Talk button, and the link is also here above me that you can click on. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.